All right, today we're gonna to go over when you, you need to replace your inner and outer tie rods. Now, first of all, here is an inner tie rod right here. This is off of a 2001 Honda Accord. Um, so we just take a look at it right here. It is pretty shot. So if your tie rod ever looks like this, if the, the boot and little rubber part right here is starting to crack open a lot, whatnot, it's probably time to repair it. You know, if it's super jiggly like that, obviously it is time to go get a new one and these are pretty simple they're not not too expensive um, and that's the part that will just screw into um, uh, the part of the tie rod that it just simply goes like that um, pretty easy nothing too crazy and this is actually how actually they adjust the toe um, on your alignment as well now your inner tie rod right here if it's you know if, if you can easily move it like this, then it is time to definitely make a new one or get a new one. You wanna have them pretty stiff when they're brand new and you get them from that, you know, O'Reilly's or AutoZone or whatnot. They're pretty they're pretty difficult to move. Um, and so if they're starting to get some movement in it, you know, maybe time to, to definitely take a look at replacing your inner and outer tie rod. So just something pretty quick. Um, this is this part that goes inside. Uh, it takes a special tool to get this out. Um, you can rent them from O'Reilly's, AutoZone, anywhere like that. Um, but it takes a big, fun-looking tube-like thing that just goes way back in there. Um, but yeah, so just a quick little overview of inner and outer tie rods and what they look like and when is a good time to replace them.